Hi everybody, this is Alchemist 2, and I'm back again with another, uh, book review. Uh, <coughs> recently I read Coming Home, which is the final book in the Baxter Saga. And honestly, you really don't have to have read the original saga to get uh, acquainted with all the characters involved <coughs> in the Baxter clan. Now, this book is fairly standard. It's about 302 pages, which includes the author's note and uh, a subsequent book that she will be working on in the future called The Bridge, which is a romantic book. And it will have new characters, and I'm not really sure where it's going to take place because she didn't reveal that much about it in the in the letter at the end. But I thought that was very uh, courteous of her <laughs> to have concluded to have concluded this series in such a way and given her fans a little bit of a heads up. Uh, as far as the Baxter books are concerned, I really enjoyed this final uh, culmination of everything. The synopsis is. The patriarch of the family, John Baxter, is turning into a septuagenarian. And everybody from all walks of life, they're all coming together and celebrating. And there are subplots that are occurring as well with, within the, the book. And one of them uh, surrounds a young girl named Amy Elizabeth. Her, her middle name is taken from the matriarch of the family. Uh, there's a, a woman who was the mother of <clears throat> three girls, including herself, at the very beginning, who was a crack addict, and unfortunately, the little girls had to witness that, and uh, Aaron and Sam brought them up out of that dangerous situation and adopted them. Um, the, the book itself is, is very gripping, and it's very heartrending, and it's also very uplifting, at least I felt it was. I, I thought that it was extremely enlightening. And I learned quite a bit from it because I've lost my mother too and Elizabeth, she dies of um, breast cancer and my mother died of uterine cancer so I could relate to that part of the, uh, the tale. And uh, despite the fact that the family deals with quite a bit of tragedy and there's a huge tragedy that occurs within this book that caught me a little bit off guard, honestly, and got my waterworks going a little bit. Um, they come together as a unit, and their faith overcomes all of this. And uh, as far as all of the Baxter books are concerned, I have to say this is my favorite. I give it two thumbs way up, five stars across the board. I just think that it's uh, spectacular. It is uh, splendidly written, it's very um, concrete, relatable, and um, I think it's written for anybody who's ever gone through a, a tragedy of, of this sort, whether it would be uh, losing a, a loved one to cancer or however you've lost somebody close to you. Um, any of us can, can um, relate to that if we've had that happen in our lifetimes. And it's it's not a simple process to to get through, even with uh, all the differing uh, stages of grief that we that we undergo. Uh, it's it's very challenging. And having gone through that myself, I can tell you from my own perspective and my own experience that it is definitely difficult. And there are good days and there are bad days, and you just have to take them as they come which is what the book teaches as well. And uh, there are a lot of uh, moral lessons to be taken from it. And uh, the ending is very satisfying. And I, I thought that she ended everything on a positive note. And uh, all the characters were able to celebrate despite loss. And uh, there was a quote from the book, um, even though Dark has there are dark there are dark times. The morning follows the darkness. It's, it's just like the saying, uh, "Every cloud has a silver lining," which which is true. And I know it sounds cliche, 
but it's um, it's just a better way to look at life and um, knowing that there are better days ahead and um, all matters will uh, start to come together and make sense in some way, shape, or form, though we may not see or understand or comprehend what exactly is happening. And uh, this is the way that God works. And uh, I didn't want to become too terribly preachy, but I just wanted to throw that message out there because this is the true um, crux of everything that Karen writes. And another thing that she includes quite a bit in these stories would be Jeremiah 29. And that scripture is for, I know, I know the plans I have for you, plans for your hope and a future, plans not to harm, uh, plans to uh, give you a, it's uh, just uh, telling the person who is reading that God has everything under control, and I I I, I agree with this. I th I think that there is absolute truth in that, and uh, I believe this wholeheartedly. And plus, it also talks about the efficacy of prayer, which I hold in very high regard because I I think that prayer is extremely powerful. The more people you have, with the more um, intention and energy that they give to a particular prayer, yes, it is. It's extremely powerful. And uh, don't ever discount the power of prayer because it is a very um, forceful element in this world. And it's something that we can't grasp or feel, but it's just something that we take on by faith, of course. And uh, I fear I'm getting a little bit too preachy here, but I'm, I'm sorry. Um, if, if you're a fan of Karen Kingsbury, then I suggest that you pick this book up. If you're a fan of the Baxters themselves, definitely read this because this is the conclusion, uh, much anticipated, I would believe. I actually got this on um, pre-order because I had been reading the Baxter saga for quite some time, and I, I read <laughs> the books and. Uh, whenever I had one, I would read one in a day, and then I would go to the next one, and the next one, and the next one, and I forget how many there are out there. But I, I hold on, that would probably be in the leaf in the beginning. Let me see. Let me look. Aha! Let me let me tell you. Okay, you've got leaving, learning, longing, loving, um, and you've got redemption, remember, return, rejoice, reunion, fame, forgiven, found, family, forever. And um, it doesn't have the take one, take two, take three, take four. Yeah, there they are above above the line. Take one, take two, take three, three, four. And then, actually, this this is um, mentioned as a standalone title, although it could be also included within the Baxter series and of course she lists the bridge as coming out in the uh, fall 2012 so I'm definitely going to put that on my list as <laughs> something that I can look forward to and, and pre-order um, I, I think it's the best of all the, the Baxter books and I just think it is absolutely phenomenal it's, it's just astonishing and I, I really think that Mrs. Kingsbury has the Midas touch when it comes to writing. She just puts things together in such a way that they they are relatable and that you can sympathize with these characters. And, and I think that's what makes her books truly uh, incredible and unbelievable and uplifting and enlightening. So if, if you have read the, the past book series, I would certainly pick this up and, and, and you can pick it up anywhere wherever books are sold so maybe you'll enjoy it maybe you'll find a new uh, author that you like or in this case an authoress 